Hey guys, what's up? This is Samdy, and I will be playing Ratchet and Clank, a good old classic from the PS2 days, before Spider-Man and Somniac Games made this game, and of course before Ratchet and Clank there was Spyro, but I never played Spyro in the PS1 days, I played Crash Bandicoot. When I got to PS2, I played Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, but I have mostly played the Ratchet and Clank series. And I had some pretty good memories of it, so let's go ahead and get started. Wait, let me just check the options. Language? Okay, interesting. Sound? Eh, doesn't matter. Let's do this. Let's start. I'm going to be skipping all cutscenes because you guys can just go ahead and watch the actual story at your own leisure on YouTube somewhere. Alright. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you the best during your own It's been so long since I played Ratchet and Clank 1, so. Probably not going to have too many things that I remember. The one thing I do remember though is the hoverboard races. Those are fun. And also the Rhino weapon. Getting one million bolts for it was <laughs> quite the task. Let's go ahead and destroy these. Uh, is it possible to... Nope, wrong one. Options... Camera? Normal? Normal, right? Okay. This is fast. <laughs> this is supposedly fast, but I don't feel any difference. Alright, so... I never wonder that I never 100% the original Ratchet and Clank, so I don't really know gold bolts and everything. So, <laughs> hope you guys don't hold that against me if you're familiar with this series. One thing I definitely did not like, though, of the original Ratchet and Clank is that the double jump is not a double jump, no matter what they say. <laughs> That's just a flip in midair. In the first game, there was not much emphasis on weaponry, so you can go and get through most of it with your wrench, but then starting with two, they had to actually give weapons a purpose. <laughs> I think I wanted to play the reboot on the PS4, but I don't have a PSN account, or rather, I don't have a PSN subscription anymore at this, or rather, at this point. So I can't play that yet. So I don't really know what the differences are, if any, besides the nice shiny coat of paint. And also, people apparently don't like the new Ratchet from that reboot much nicer than his original incarnation in the first game. For me though, I don't really play games for stories, so... I think the only last time I actually legitimately played a game for story was Final Fantasy X. Ever since then, I have only concentrated on... only ever concentrated on gameplay. It's fun, and it's fun. Looks like you're locked into the wrench that the wrench threw. To use your bomb. Oh whoops, wrong way. 
Can't lock. Can't lock on. Alright. Alright, one press to let you arm the weapon, and then you can just simply tap it afterwards. Not as much AoE on it as I thought. My first exposure to Ratchet and Clank was a PS2 demo. And it definitely had it definitely influenced my decision to get the game later on. Though back in the day I was not fully capable of buying games on my own. So sometimes I had to have it gifted to me. But I think in the case of Ratchet and Clank I bought this one on my own. And then now I'm working, so I just go crazy with buying stuff. Of course, I can always play this game on, uh, on an emulator on my computer. But where's the fun in that? Hello. <laughs> Whoa. What the already? Okay. Is this... Yes, it's... Maybe this isn't the level, the soundtrack I'm fond of. This definitely feels a little spiral-ish. <laughs> Bit of environment destruction. Also, one other thing that I like about, well, another reason why I might prefer playing and recording with an Elgato with the Elgato instead of with emulator with Shadow Play is because there is no option with shadow play to go and okay maybe we'll just go back yeah there's no option on shadow play that auto lowers the volume while talking i think this is a option that is unique to obs and not shadow play so that's unfortunate not too fond of that. I'm not too fond of OBS, but I think my computer sh should be able to run it and record stuff better. <laughs> but yeah, so Elgato has the option of when recording your voiceover, you can have it lower the game audio. All speaking, and only OBS has that as an option, and not Shadow Play. I prefer recording with Shadow Play, but Shadow Play does not have that as an option. So my alternative would be to go and manually lower the volume whenever I speak, and then raise up the g sorry, r lower the game audio. <laughs> whenever I speak and then just resume with normal volume if I'm not speaking, but that's a little bit too much work. I will consider that in the future though, if I ever do live commentary. Emulating stuff that is. Don't 
telling you this place just only has bolts. <laughs> Bolts. Okay, there's another area up ahead. Can't swim fast. Pretty sure I should eventually have enough bolts to buy a new weapon. Though whether I actually use it or not is a different story. I just went in a circle. Okay, never mind. Mm, okay. Uh, can't buy it, but I don't think its weapon itself is worth. Be careful. Wait, wait, don't go yet. <laughs> Good thing there's no contact damage. <laughs> This all feels so foreign to me. <laughs> I definitely don't remember the first level so much. Okay, just don't touch that. <laughs> Lock on. Great. I have enough for a pyro cider, which is a flamethrower, but I don't really need it. Bolt, bolt. Let me grab that. I don't. I think going commando actually didn't force you to commit to the wrench toss. So you can go ahead and move after throwing it. But then I haven't played going commando in ages either, so a lot of my memory that's probably very faulty. Does this mean anything? Okay, it's just minor direction. What's here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hang on, what's up? Okay, nope, never mind. This means nothing. Going. I shouldn't use a wrench toss too much. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Camera is a little bit wonky. Slow down. Okay. Please tell me this is not just bolts and not their bolts. Dead bliss. Info bud. Mayday, mayday. This is the solution. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets.
Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. Huh, is that all of it? To enter look around mode, press and hold the L1 button. Nothing over here. at all bits. It apparently is all of it. Okay, no, never mind. That is definitely not all of it. Looks like there is a bit of auto targeting. But you gotta get close. <laughs> well, it's still worth using weapons. <laughs> up. <laughs> There's a way to auto collect them. of note here besides all the bolts I missed. <laughs> sure, there's some sort of gadget that lets you auto collect the bolts nearby, right? <laughs> Playing this a little bit like an action game. <laughs> Trying to jump after meleeing. This 
feels so spiral like. <laughs> Nanotech over here, though. <laughs> Gotta slowly go around <laughs> just to make sure I collect everything. Boss fight, I assume. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can Alrighty. press the select. Okay. Wait, did you say select button? Oh, okay. Wait, box here. So just go ahead and buy the pyro cider. Even though I don't care for it. are back in business. Outpost already. Uh, I'll do it in order, I guess. Mayday, mayday. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> not, not that one. Gold bolts. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll worry about that later. I never really knew where they were anyway. <laughs> For a nice spaceship transition. I got some great bargains for you today. Try the Gadgetron Quick Select. Okay. I'm just gonna go with the glove still, since I don't think. I'm not using the Pyro Cider that much. for the wrench toss. <laughs> oh hey, is that guy? Destroy the sand sharks. Yep, this is definitely giving me memories of... <laughs> Alright, 
one hit isn't so bad. Maybe I might want to have them <laughs> make some sharks. Have some time. Okay, now let me let's go with. <laughs> Wait, wait. Okay, maybe I need to actually... Can't really farm off of them. Parasiter. up there, I guess. Let me get the health. Good thing to know that the mud doesn't only doesn't kill you, it just only partially sinks you. This feels like it's destroyable. <laughs> Hang on, wait. Actually. Ah, I see now. <laughs> okay, I don't know what there was a for. <laughs> I never collected gold bolts back then, so. Back to the pyro cider. Let's grab all these bolts in the meantime. Wait, does that bolt in? Nope, never mind. Let's just go back. Missing all these bolts. <laughs> You're not spawning any, I wonder why. <laughs> Bolts. Jesus Christ. There's gotta be some kind of gadget that auto collects as you get near the bolts. Oh, just gonna have to continue. They'll let you go and use the wrench that way. 
Done this the whole time. Alrighty, so let's explore this part. Wait, hang on, let me just make sure. Anything else over here? Okay, I guess not. Alright, let's move on and explore the other part. Good thing this doesn't kill. fashion way. Much pirates okay not maxed out, but that should be fine. of note here. My favorite weapon, aside from the Rhino, is the homing missile, which I think is called the Devastator. But you honestly can't get that soon. <laughs> you will need a Gadgetron swing shot to traverse this area. Our records oh, great, I gotta come back. <laughs> blown up. Don't go down there. <laughs> Yes, collateral damage. Uh, I can't tell if that's part of the next area. Okay, that that is. There's this. <laughs> it seems like for now, the only thing this area is good for it's just for more bolts
could have just double jumped over there, huh? here besides just this explosive crate. I pretty much got back everything that I used to buy Pyrocider. <laughs> So, go to one hour mark at least. Forget it, and let's just go on ahead. <laughs> Bring the prize from the hoverboard races. Okay, looks like <laughs> I have another reason to backtrack to this planet. Alright, let's go. Let's <laughs> Try to get more gadgets. Is that another area we can go to? Maybe. Just can't go there yet. Metropolis Kruan. <laughs> ah, yes. This was the level in the demo. It had the music that I loved. Don't fall off. Let me just go around here. I think you started with Clank being able to do things like hover. But. Hi there, Fuzzball. Blaster. So this is your standard pistol type weapon. To quickly center the camera, press tap the L1 button. <laughs> Use up ammo. <laughs> Should probably get me to the one hour mark. If not, I'm probably gonna still stop here after I complete this level. Is that all of it? Is that all of it? 
this area has to offer. It's just just background decoration. I use weapons more than my wrench now than I have in the past. Hmm. Of course, you would still probably need to use a weapon on something like the helicopter. So I am chewing through ammo rather quickly. This is definitely a, a spa. This is definitely an accessible place, but flank needs to be upgraded. Did you know that you have a map available to you at all times? Just press the select button to view a map of this planet. remember properly backtracking either. Man, <laughs> it's been so long since I played this game and now I'm gonna learn things for the first time, like gold bolt locations and what they do. Where are you going, man? Stupid dog. Vandalism. Always worth it. <laughs> Ratchet. Helipack. Yes, there you go. Right, let me just go back to... Yes, there you go. But I'm wasting ammo for no good reason. Let's go back over here. A little exploration never hurt anyone. Bolts. Seems kind of lame. That appears to be all that this place has to offer. Just bolts. Uh. All right, back to the main place. else of note. Try using the Halifax boost 
jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. You'll need your new Helipack stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. Slow down, buddy, before you fall off. Nothing else of note. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in mid-air to fly. Blaster ammo. Huh. Repacked. <laughs> Any more? Thought so. <laughs> on blaster ammo very quickly. I feel like I should have actually saved some boxes I can jump on. I just saw it. <laughs> ah, yeah. Let's go kick some ass. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's gotta be importance to this that I'm not currently aware of. Listen to this song all day. <laughs> hey, 
hear that the PS3 collection, the Ratchet and Clank has some issues. Some minor graphical issues and some audio issues, but so far, as long as they don't affect gameplay too much. Alright, let's not go too crazy on the crates, because I want to see if there is anything up here. Like my hunch is correct. Nope. <laughs> Don't fall down just yet. Alright, I think that should be all the goodies up here, so I can just go ahead and straight all the crates down here now. Ah uh, yeah, all the bolts, give them. <laughs> this all right I got the point let's go and fight these dudes what the hell range is Interesting. That's, um, uh, never seen that before. Alright, whatever. I will just roll with it. Starting over, at least I didn't die, so... <laughs> Unless that actually counted as dying. Just wait for it to go straight. Okay. Hey, info bot. What was that about? <laughs> relying on my blasters so even though I'm wasting my bombs to destroy these mines it's not really a big deal it gives me something to do with the other weapons okay I'm pretty sure that counted as me dying since it was a Took that hit for the sake of getting this health. <laughs> Infobot. 
Okay. Should that be? Wait a second. Hey, wait. I just saw something. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's about all that there is to this. Oh, actually, let me just take a look at this. It's those gold bolts later on. Oh hey, what the... Quark? I haven't been to this area yet. Okay, I guess it's not time. It's not high time to go just yet. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. Excuse oh. me, Captain. All right, hang on. Let me just do a little exploration around here first. a limit to how many wall jumps you can make or maybe I just didn't time it right this is not a time thing is it do I reach dead? I can't just go and these moving walls also function as jump slots. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in midair until you reach the top. I'm gonna wait. <laughs>
hell do I reach that thing over there? All the good stuff. Oh wait, can I just... Hang on, let me just see if I can do that. Exploration. <laughs> Figuring these things out myself. Question is where the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, okay. Turn to your ship. Alright, I guess it's time to start the obstacle bah, the obstacle course all over again. Oh, I can't jump off here. Never mind. Let me talk to that quark bot again to see if there's some sort of time thing going on with the obstacle course. That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third island to claim your reward. And... Okay, never mind. It's not needed. Guess this is where you get the slingshot. I think it'll be very helpful. So sweaty. Jesus. This should be it. Listen up, you. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron Swimshot. Use it on standard burst targets like the ones in the eye. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to leave. Cool. cool. Hang on, do you have to man you have to have manually selected? Alright guys, so I'm gonna call it quits on this. Hope you enjoy this gameplay and commentary, and insanity is 